Good afternoon. We are fresh back from the thrift store. Got a whole bunch of goodies. Figured I'd show you exactly what I got. So we'll go through all that stuff. I spent a grand total of $119 at the thrift store. I got 22 items, but it's really 21 because the 22nd is I rounded up for the career center. So 22 items for $119. We're going to really quickly go through all these items. I'm going to do the best I can as letting you know how much I spent for every item and how much I expect each item to sell for. Pretty much everything I'm going to pull out of this bag, I've probably sold um, in some cases uh, dozens of times, in some cases hundreds of times too. So I think these price estimates will be pretty good. If I don't know exactly what it's going to sell for, I'll let you know that too. This is a great experience too. If you live, let me know down below in the chat, do you live in an area where the thrift stores don't just have all kinds of fire that you find every day? This is not all kinds of fire. Let me know down below in the chat. Put fire down below in the chat. If your thrift stores just aren't always that crazy stuff, that's how my thrift stores are. A lot of this is going to be bread and butter stuff. This is stuff I pick up all the time and resell on eBay and Poshmark and whatnot uh, and make profit on. Uh, some of this stuff is actually really cool, but it's a lot of bread and butter stuff. This is stuff that you can find in your local thrift stores too. Um, I know it's out there. It's pretty common stuff. Most of this There's a couple of like uncommon pieces, but most of it is stuff that you can find. So let me know, get those emojis down below. If that describes your area of thrifting, it's not all the best stuff, but there is stuff out there. Hey, Joey, welcome. Missy's in the house. Have you ever heard of Play-Doh? Have you ever sourced from Play-Doh's? Yes. I bought a, um, I just flipped a, a bag from Play-Doh's. It was a Toomey bag. I spent $40 for it and I sold it for 225 bucks. That was, I sold that last week. That was from a Play-Doh's closet. Absolutely. So let's dig into this. Let's get some organization here first. Put this big stack over here. I'm going to cut tags off everything, button everything up as I go. This is my normal process. Kim's hanging out back here too. Kim's bagging and tagging some stuff. There's Kim. There she is. Hi. You got to say hi to this one too. Ready? Yep. Hi. <laughs> Make sure it doesn't have any stains before you cut the tags. Yes, Kim. Look at Kim's already telling me what to do. The part-time employee help telling right. me what to do. What is going on? Part -time. What is I'm going on? Not even a Thanks everyone for being here. Happy afternoon. Everyone saying hi, Kim. Hi. Right here. All right. Sorry, so we're gonna have to share the trash can. We're sharing the trash can. Uh, Trisha says hi, Kim. Good okay. job, Kim says Vanessa. Can I borrow 30 pairs of pants? Yeah, we can make that work. I probably have, I easily have. 30 pairs of unlisted pants sitting in this room right now. Uh, first item is a Cabela's fleece. Uh, I wouldn't always pick up this piece, but I'm guessing that somebody in the chat is going to let, let us know probably why I picked up this orange Cabela's fleece. It's a men's size medium Cabela's. You can see somebody had like their name on, written on the back there above the Cabela's tag, but Cabela's embroidery right there, bright orange. Why do you think I picked up this one? Somebody in the chat is going to know that. I paid $4.99 for this piece. Most of the stuff I'm going to show you is $4.99. Did you sell, for, what did you sell? A Tumi backpack uh, used. I picked it up for $40 at Plato's Closet K Flow. It sold for $225. It sold within 24 hours of me listing it, by the way, too. Vintage, um, not really. I, that's not a vintage Cabela's tag. It's a fairly modern Cabela's tag. No guessers. Wow, yeah, K Flow. Never know. I, I was like, holy crap, is that? I was just like waiting by the door, waiting for the roommate to uh, to cash out. And I was just kind of like kicking around the bag section, just killing time. I was like, holy crap, that's a Toomey right there. What the heck is a Toomey? I'm like, it's only $40? Let's go. Uh, so that Cabela should sell for about, uh, probably about $25 plus shipping on that one. I paid $5 for it. So the profit there is going to be sitting around like 16 bucks on that piece right there. Shoot, I don't know, vintage. The reason I picked that one up is because that's going to be something like uh, orange is what I like hunters and stuff look for. Cabela's is a brand that definitely resonates with uh, hunters, fishermen, outdoorsmen. So that orange jacket uh, has purpose. So if that was blue, I don't know if I would have picked that up. Maybe I should have, but that bright orange is why I, I grabbed that one. Hunting season, there you go. Kiernan Bellinger. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but you are right. This is one of the uh, best pieces, I guess, I don't know if the best, but one of the most fun pieces for me, because I've actually never picked up this brand at a thrift store before. It's called Crag Hoppers. This is a, uh, a climbing brand. Uh, I believe it's a British brand. It's made in Bangladesh, but Crag Hoppers. Let me know down below in the chat, YRN, if you know this brand. This is a polyester puffer jacket and with the hood. 
and I paid $6.99 for this one right here. This should sell for somewhere in the 30s plus shipping. Um, my guess is that this is a $35 jacket plus shipping, and I paid $7 for it. So we should be looking at uh, about the 20, low 20s range in profit on this after fees and all that good stuff. Thanks for joining. NC Thrifters in the house. Got it right. Nice. I finally got a pronunciation right. So we're just popping off all the tags. Just back from Goodwill if you're just joining in. And we're going through everything I picked up today. Everything is stuff that I bought to resell. I don't think I picked up anything from me or Kim today. Kim or I. That little tag thing's not coming out. I don't know how they tagged it. So the thing was tags like on the inside. Chop it the best we can. There it is. All right. So again, probably $35. Anybody know YRN down below? Nobody wants to admit whether they know it or not. Crag Hoppers. Do you know that brand? YRN. Be honest down below in the chat. Thrifty Duckies. It's an outdoor brand. A climbing brand should be 35 bucks out of seven. Here's an unusual find for me, mostly because it's women's. This was in the women's. I do go through the women's jacket section pretty consistently at Goodwill. I don't really go through jeans or shirts in the women's section, but I'll go through jackets. I'll go through sweaters. And I picked this up. This was $6.99. It's a Torrid is the brand. Torrid size three on this. And you can see it's a a denim jacket. I don't pick up all Torrid. Let, let me know what your experience is reselling Torrid, but I do sell some Torrid. Thrifty Ducky says no. I think that's something you'll find out there in the, you'll find that. Thrifty Duckies. The duck, you'll find that. Good outdoor brand. I never come across it. I don't think a lot of people know that one. I've actually never picked it up before. It's been on my radar screen. So this is that Torrid piece right here. I thought that's a nice piece. Really nice condition on this denim jacket. Torrid size three. That's going to go up on eBay Poshmark. I might even put that up on whatnot. I'm not sure. It depends on what y'all think. I do well with denim up on whatnot. I do Goodwill Torrid bombshell. I do Goodwill Torrid bombshell skinny jeans. What's selling toward jeans, but they are slow at selling. Jacket should do well. Thank you, Nicole. I appreciate everybody's insight. I've probably sold maybe 10 or 12 toward pieces in my whole flipping, flipping career. A 3X. It should sell. Yeah, I think it'll be a good one. Good time of year to have something like that uh, up on the market. And again, if you're just jumping in, we spent 119 at Goodwill. 119 We bought 21 total items. Let me just go. Uh, we paid $119. So that's the first bag. Next up is a brand that I don't come across very often, but for some reason lately, I feel like I've been coming across it more. It's just one of those things. Let me show you this. Let me know down below in the chat if you know this brand here. Yes or no. Give me a YRN down below. Kula Bar. Kula Bar. This is a long sleeve polo. So Kula Bar, they're typically UPF, like, uh, yeah, sun protection. So this is UPF 50, UV protection on this thing. This is a polo shirt. It's like stretchy, polyester, spandex. And it's a borderline piece without the new tags though. So brand new tags, size medium. This would be kind of borderline, the long sleeve polo cool bar. I feel like it's probably like a, a $17 to $19 item if it was used, but it's brand new tags. I picked it up for $4.99. We got an N on that. That's okay, Mountain Quail. I don't find it very often. Yes, I find quite a bit around here. Interesting, Barbara Booty. You're the one who's taken all the Kula Bar from this area. Just found that brand for the first time. Women's outfit. Nice. I really got Helly Hansen's. I just got Helly Hansen's ski boots. I believe they look brand new. So, uh, if you want, I can probably give you some insight on those Helly Hansen boots if you're not, if you don't know so, so much about the skiing stuff. Send me a picture of them if you want. Helly Hansen's a, uh, a good, a really good ski brand. It's not known so much out on the East Coast. It's not distributed as much out here, but out West, Helly Hansen is a, a really well-known ski brand. I used to find it fairly regularly when I lived in Denver, but not so much back here on the East Coast here in Asheville. There's not much skiing in this area. There is some skiing and it's not great and it's really short season. Thanks to everybody who's watching on uh, Facebook and YouTube. We don't have any comments from you yet. 
So if somebody could drop a comment down below in chat, let me know that the comment section is working. I'd love to hear from you. Say hello. So Kula Bar, uh, new with tags. My guess is that's probably like a $30 shirt, 25 to 30 used. It's probably like 17 to 19 kind of area and that'll be plus shipping. So uh, if my ballpark is right, that'll be like a $20, $22 profit on that. Is drinking instant coffee a sin? Austin, you're being honest. Lying is a sin, right? But uh, lying is a sin. I don't think drinking instant coffee is a sin. I also don't think it's a really, uh, I don't think it's probably your best decision today, Austin. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully you've made some better decisions today, brother. Well, I don't think it's a sin, though. Trisha with the comment. Thank you. So we know that the YouTubes is working. I appreciate that. Wendy, thanks for the follow. Do you also resell, Wendy? And if so, what sort of stuff do you resell? Do you ever do Poshmark live shows? I've never done one, Travis, but I, I do uh, whatnot. I do whatnot lives. I do really well on whatnot. So um, uh, do you do the Posh shows over there? I've never done it before. It seems like anytime I've watched somebody do like a Poshmark live, they're just giving stuff away for like super dirt cheap. And uh, so I'm not really into giving away stuff for super dirt cheap. What's up, Sassy? Awesome. I'll send you some pics when I get home later. Yes. Are they, do you know if they're Nordic boots or if they're downhill boots or if they're touring boots? Uh, it was the biggest decision I made today, unfortunately. <laughs> that was the biggest. Are you on both platforms, Austin? Oh my gosh, you're just trying to confuse me. Uh, agreed. Hey, yo, what's up, Reisner? I do Posh Live and have done pretty well. I just started. Nice, Travis. What kind of stuff are you selling over there? Uh, I picked up a Brooks Brothers. I typically don't pick these up if they're size uh, medium or smaller. But sometimes you just got to go with your gut a little bit, especially if you've been doing this for a long time. I don't come across a lot of this red and white gingham pattern in Brooks Brothers. So my bet is that, A, somebody's going to like this pattern because, um, you know, the gingham check is a, a timeless pattern. It's pretty hot right now, too it's in style, but also that there's probably not too, too many of this exact style listed because I don't come across it that much. So there can't be too many of them out there. And I pick up a lot of Brooks Brothers. So typically I pick these up if they are bigger sizes and modern patterns. This one is a modern pattern, but really not a, uh, a bigger size. But I'll take a chance on this. I'll, I'll list this for like $19 plus shipping and see what happens. I think I, I think it'll sell pretty good. I uh, just listed a Polo Ralph Lauren gingham. There you go. There you go with the ginghams. Uh, I mainly sell men's name brand and vintage clothing, a lot of sports clothing. Nice. Okay. Um, when you say uh, that you do well on there, uh, if you can, if you compared it to like how you sell on, say like a Poshmark item would typically sell for you for $20 on Poshmark. How much are you getting for that $20 item? If you're doing it on a Poshmark live, I'd be, uh, I'd be curious. Cause I've been into, a, I haven't been in one in a long time, but when they first started doing Poshmark lives, I was paying attention. And uh, I'll be honest with you, like people were selling like $20 items and getting $6 on there. I was like, yeah, I don't really think I'm into that. Found a Sir Pendleton today. Nice. Tag looks newer. It says 100% wool, but it doesn't feel like a flannel or typical wool material. Have you ever encountered anything like that? Austin, those, uh, those Sir Pendletons are a really thin wool shirt. That's kind of their MO. So it won't feel like one of those big, heavy flannel wool pieces, but that's what they're all about is, and, and people really love that Sir Pendleton. So if that's what you're nervous about, kind of like that thinner, smoother feel, that's right on. That's what Sir Pendleton is. I also have never come across a, uh, a fake Pendleton. So if you're concerned about that, um, I've never come across it. Uh, that, good find there. Uh, Pendleton, easy in the 30s, um, low 30s for that Sir Pendleton. Bigger sizes and better patterns do better for sure. Good evening, D Real. You get the coolest items. Uh, today was just an okay day. Today was just an okay day, to be honest with you. It was like a lot of bread and butter. I didn't think there was really any fire. Honestly, no cool. Okay, send them over to me. There's probably a model number uh, somewhere on them too that'll be a, a really helpful. But I just like I like ski boots and ski gear and stuff like that. And I miss coming across that stuff when I'm out and about because we don't really have a lot of that. And when I do find skis and boots and that sort of thing in the Asheville area, it's usually like really low end stuff or really old stuff. So it's not really like exciting stuff. I'm like, oh, here's somebody's skis from 1998 and their rear entry boots from from uh, 1987, like, oh, that's awesome. And Goodwill wants $40 for these boots. And they're from 1987, awesome. Because this technology is totally and entirely obsolete. I got an LL Bean here. Uh, this is a women's size 2XL wrinkle-free. I picked this up because I think it's got a nice pattern to it. 
and it's a uh, and it's a two X. So that combination, um, it's probably still a twenty dollars shirt at best plus shipping. The new program, uh, Nick Knacks thoughts. Are you going to use that platform, Zeta? I heard about that program, Nick Knacks, maybe two days ago for the first time. So I don't have any insight on it whatsoever, except for somebody came into my chat yesterday and was like, "I do well on Nick Knacks," and that's about as much as I know about it. I don't know if it's auction or I don't know if it's live. I don't know if it's buy it now. I have no clue. I don't know if it's clothing or what it is. So I have nothing to share about that. It feels almost, it feels more performancey. Nice. Yeah. Those Sir Pendletons are great finds. Um, should be a fast seller for you if you price it right too. Honestly, no clue. You remove the tags before putting them on your spreadsheet. I do mountain quail sales. Every single one of these shirts is going to be $4.99. And I don't cost things out by item anymore. I cost this out by I spent a hundred and I spent 119 at the thrift store. That's how I cost it. That's how I expense stuff. Now I don't do it per unit any longer, but I can tell you as I'm selling items, I pay $4.99 at all my Goodwills for all shirts. Jackets are $6.99. Blazers are $6.99, suits are $9.99. It's it's flat rate pricing. So yes, I cut the tags off, I button them up, and they're getting ready for photo tom, photo shoot. It's crazy lamp lady plat. It's the crazy light lamp lady platform. Okay. I don't know really what that means. But that's cool. I uh, got myself a Woolrich shirt. This is probably a $20 piece. This is a women's western pearl snap. Women's Western Pearl Snap. Any insight into Millen Naco Dry Fit shirts? Never heard of that brand, Cupcake Cottage. Um, when I know something, I'll tell you is my, I'll tell you all about it. I'll talk all day about it. But uh, if I don't know something, I'll say I don't know. Does anybody in the chat on any of the chats? We got a bunch of people over on TikTok. We got people over on YouTube and Facebook. Hello, everybody. And we got some people over on Instagram. Somebody on Instagram is asking about a brand, and this is Cupcakes Cottage. She's asking about a brand called Millen. Naco dry fit shirts, 4XL and, and uh, 5XL. Anybody heard of Millen Naco? I don't know a thing about it. I've never even heard of it. Have you tried looking them up on eBay to see like what their what the market value is? Hello, Trisha Smith. We have very similar pricing in Toledo. Got it. Cool. I think I missed a comment here on the IG. Oh, did I mess here? People feel like they're getting a discount right away. I mainly sell men's. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna right now. I'll probably stick to whatnot. But if I keep hearing from people who are crushing it on the the Poshmark lives, maybe I'll check it out. But for now, I'm gonna stick to whatnot. If you're new to whatnot, by the way, I have a link in my profile. If you're on Instagram, just go to my profile, click on the URL there, and you'll find the link for fifteen dollars off for free when you join whatnot. So you can walk into a show, my show, anybody's show, and you can have fifteen dollars in your pocket. Not bad though. And if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, that link is down below, or you can go to chrisatpeak.com, which is pasted right there on the screen. So here we go, a modern Woolrich. I don't pick up a ton of modern Woolrich that's cotton, but this is a women's and it's a Western pearl snap. It's in beautiful condition and uh, it's just got a really beautiful pattern to it. So I feel like this is a $20 shirt. It's also a size XL women's uh, on this. So I picked this up. I figured it's a 20 buck shirt. I paid $4.99 for it. I love the pattern. I love the pearl snaps. My gut tells me 20 bucks. I haven't looked it up, but Somebody can do that work for me if they want to. Sold a pair of Youth Burton snowboard boots. Picked them up on a whim, knowing nothing about snowboard boots. I think I did okay with them. Yeah. The good thing about the difference between ski boots and snow boots is ski boots, that like the technology, there's a lot more innovation uh, in ski boots. They change uh, more rapidly. Uh, snowboard boots are, they don't really change. They change, they evolve, they get better over time, but not really quite the same way that ski boots do. So when you, even if you picked up an old pair of snowboard boots, you're probably doing okay. An old pair, like a 15 year old pair of ski boots is probably worthless and it really has no value unless it's like some strange collector or something like that, which I don't really know too many people who collect old snow boots so, or old ski boots. But that's the thing about, that's the difference between snowboard boots and, uh, and ski boots. Not as much innovation over there in the snow boots. Picking a big, pick, packing a big mouth Billy Bass. What a classic like bolo that is. International sale for 50 bucks. I love that. Nikki Smith, how are you, buddy? Leslie's in the house. What's up? All my OG followers. I just purchased a pair of orange tab Levi's. They look vintage. Any idea of cost? Um, if you're asking for a ballpark price on it, it's probably in the $30 range. Um, it's hard for me to give somebody a, I don't like 
um, giving people prices for things that I can't lay my eyes on, right? Because I don't even know what model number it is. I just know that they're orange tab, which tells me that they're probably a nineties era pair of Levi's, but I don't know the model number. I don't know the size. I'm not looking at them. I can't see the condition, but you could easily look up uh, the, the value of that item. Just type exactly what you typed in there. Put type in orange tab Levi's, put in whatever the five number is and put in the size and then search for recent sales on eBay. You'll get a good idea of it. But I sold a pair of vintage Levi's orange tabs earlier this week for $34 plus shipping. I don't know how helpful that is, but you should look up your own item and, and not take my word for it when I haven't even seen it yet. How to order beauty for less. I'm sorry. Uh, she's on YouTube. Peak is back. What's up? 929. It's the crazy lamp lady platform. 929 is back. What's up? How to order beauty for less. I'm not sure what we're asking about. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Do your homework. You know how to you know how to fish. You know how to comp stuff, right? If you don't, Highland, let me know and we can we can teach you how to how to comp things and get a good idea. Uh, oh, okay, my Goodwill's prices are variable. Gotcha. Yep. Everybody's uh, Goodwills are run regionally, so pricing, sales structure, everything is going to be different from one Goodwill to the next. My Goodwills are Goodwill of Northwest North Carolina. That's a mouthful, right? I got some LL Bean vintage duck boots. Always a good seller. Nice one. Treasure Nest is in the chat. What is up? How are you? All right, next up, this is a brand I don't pick up very often. I mean, when I say not very often, I mean, I pass on 99.999% of this brand. It is a mall brand. I'll give you a flash of it, give you a guess. Maybe somebody's got a guess. It is a mall brand. It is a flannel and I pass on it 99.999% of the time. Okay, thanks so much. I can't do Goodwill too high in Texas, gotcha. And they might have different Goodwill uh, regions within Texas. There's different Goodwill management groups, even within the state of North Carolina. I'm in the Goodwill of Northwest North Carolina, which is different from like Eastern Carolina, et cetera, et cetera. So to say even Goodwills in Texas are too high, um, you might only be talking about one particular region. I don't know how they break down the regions in Texas. I could be wrong. Here in Chicago, Goodwill prices are insane lately. I believe it. It's getting harder out there. It is. More competition. Prices are going up. You got to evolve. You got to adapt. You got to change. You got to keep learning. Aero style buckle. Are those two different brands? Aero, those are two different brands. Mine are Goodwill of Northeast Florida. There you go. And that's different from when I lived in Florida. Our uh, our Goodwills were the Goodwill of was it Sun, Sunshine Coast, Sunshine Coast Goodwill, or something like that. Anyway, it was different than yours. Here's the brand American Eagle. I don't pick it up a lot. I bet you, though, this is probably a $20 flannel, low 20s maybe. Look at that. It's got like a really kind of vintage -y look to it. It's that heavy flannel. It's like that, like a, like a tweed flannel, like a woven flannel. Anyway, it's a size extra large. Kind of looks like it fits small for an extra large. So my, uh, my Hail Mary on this is, well, maybe it'll fit me because it's freaking awesome. It's freaking awesome. I don't suggest when you're, uh, if you're just getting into uh, reselling that you do what I just did with this one and say, well, this is a bad brand. It doesn't sell very well. I passed it most of the time, but I like the pattern and the vibe on this one. I don't think that's a really good way to conduct the business. Um, I, I think I can do it. I've, I've built up the instincts on it and I might eat crow on this one too, but uh, at least that one will fit me. But I don't think sometimes I'll tell you that I shoot from the hip and I make decisions like that. If you're just getting started, you're going to make a, your instincts won't be as strong. And uh, I might've made a mistake on that one. That's totally possible. But if you, I might make that mistake, like once out of 10 times, it'll be like a bad mistake. And I'll sit on that item for two years. But if you're new, you might make that decision 10 times. And like, you might be wrong, like seven or eight out of 10 of the times. Right. And then you're really accumulating a lot of old inventory. So sometimes it's like uh, do what I say and <laughs> not what I do would be my suggestion. Uh, but Suncoast, that's it. Yeah. If you know, you know. There you go. Public apology today. Please forgive me for anything I have said or not re representing success. 929. What are you talking about, brother? I don't even get it. Drop the shipping cost and I'll be happy to. Somebody just sent me a message on Poshmark. Drop the sip shipping cost and I'll be happy to purchase the item from you. Oh, I see what you want me to do, brother, on Poshmark. You want me to pay for some of the shipping to you. There's no dropping the shipping cost. It's fixed rate. It's $7.98. There's no changing that price. You just want me to pay some of the price and you'll buy the shirt. Got it. That's not going to happen. Where's my phone? Right here. Are you using it? No. Oh, thank you.
Let's see what this item is. I love when people tell me what to do. No, like, could you maybe like eat some of the shipping on this? No, they're going to tell me, drop the shipping costs and I'll be happy to purchase from them. Uh, I'm just not even going to respond to it. It's just a comment on an item. Just ignore that. All right, so this was my favorite picks of the day. I already told you that the, that the um, Crag Hoppers was my favorite of the day. I lied. This is actually my favorite, and you're going to see why in a second. So this is a Territory Ahead men's size extra large on the tag right there. I love this brand. It doesn't sell as well for me as it used to, but it does sell well when they have really good Southwest patterns. So with different brands, different brands are going to have different things that are on, on brand for that brand. Territory Ahead, typically what is on brand for Territory Ahead is these like nice Southwest colors and patterns. That's what people want who like Territory Ahead. Another example would be L.L. Bean. People really like plaid L.L. Bean and flannel L.L. Bean. That's on brand for L.L. Bean. On brand for Territory Ahead is this. If you're like, what should I pick up for Territory Ahead? Pick up this. Thank you for the bracelets. I appreciate the gift, South Texas. That's super kind of you. I do not have a whatnot tonight. I'll do another whatnot on Tuesday, next Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. There's a link in the profile. Do you use ground for, do you use ground? Yes, would be the answer to that question. I use whatever the cheapest shipping is for that individual item. And sometimes that is USPS ground advantage. Yeah. Thank you for the bears. That's really nice of you, South Texas. Sorry, do you use ground USPS? Yes, USPS ground advantage. I do use that some of the time. I also use priority. I also use UPS. I just got a text from Goodwill Industries of Central Florida that their current loyalty program is ending on January 31st. There's no more loyalty after January 31st. Loyalty is over. I started picking up a lot of buys at estate sales or in a high bid. We have to adapt. There you go. Always. Yep. Uh, not a lot of flannels down here on Galveston Island, Texas. I could believe that. That makes a lot of sense. You're right there on the beach. So the reason why this is my favorite pick of the day probably is because this isn't the only one. So here's one. That's a men's size extra large. Hold that thought. These were all right in a row. All right in a row at the thrift store. Here's number two. This one might be the best one, but I might say that about every single one. Look at the freaking like the the texture on this shirt. I don't even know if that's coming through. But another territory head, 100% cotton, size XL. Look at that like textured pattern. I've never seen one like this. The unique and different in territory ahead is definitely what you're looking for. And this one has got it. I don't even know what you would call this, this textured pattern. I've never sold a shirt that had this pattern to it. I want that shirt now. I could, this is totally a 929 shirt. 929, I forget. Are you more, you're XL, is that right? The green one? Well, I'm colorblind. So is it the, uh, is the last one green or is this one green? I don't know. I don't really know. You want the long sleeve or the short sleeve? I can tell those two apart. Um, who wants to arm muscle? Josh. Josh, you don't want any of this mess. Josh, you want the long sleeve? This one that's in my hand right now, you want this. Josh, I wish you were in my hand right now, buddy. 929. It's, uh, I would call this a mid-weight shirt, but do you see the texture on that? It's going to be like somewhat warm, super soft. But look at that. Like it's got like such vintage vibes to it. Yes. You want this one? All right. 99. I'll fold it up for you. <clears throat> there might be some other ones from this, from this little, this is actually, this might not be my favorite one. It might be my second favorite one from this. So hang on tight. I'm going to fold this up for you, brother. Uh, 929. Uh, what do you say? There might be other ones, but I'll throw this out there for right now and, and the shipping will be fixed. But I'll say on this one, 28 shipped to your door, 28 total price on this one, 28. Does that sound reasonable to you? Basically, it's like 22 plus shipping is what I'm factoring in, but 28 all in on this piece. But you might want more. So just keep that in mind while we look at the other one. Before we look at the next ones. Yes, I want that one. Okay. I got you, brother. I got you. You're all folded up. You're ready to go. I'm going to put that one aside for you. That's got your name on it. I didn't write their name on it, but I did. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out. Appreciate it.
All right, we got more territory ahead. This one is another size extra large. They're all size extra large. Long sleeve. It's got a 100% cotton and it's got that kind of like textured stripe to it too. This is again, got that kind of like faded kind of vintage look to it. I don't think it's actually faded. I just think that this is how the shirt is made. Territory ahead, men's size, extra large. Both of these are on an older tag, by the way. This isn't the modern, the most recent territory ahead tag. It actually might be a Y2K territory ahead tag. Price is fine. I'll send them a cool. But hold up, hold up, brother. I got more for you. I got more for you. These territory heads are fire. Let me cut the tag off this one. We got more. I had to put a couple of them back because they had some stains on them, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would have had three more territory ahead shirts in this little bundle. <clears throat> so that's the, that's the third one. That one's a long sleeve cotton. This is more of like a cotton twill. That other one, I don't even know how to describe that one. This one is awesome. It's still not my favorite one, but we got a nice floral pattern. Uh, men's size XL. Territory head on that like older territory head tag right there. Look at that. 100% cotton and it's got that uh, floral pattern to it, but it's got that like kind of like vintagey kind of faded floral look to it. A little bit less Tommy Bahama, a little bit more, uh, what would be the vibes for this? Not Tommy Bahama, because that's like silk. Maybe a little more Ralph Lauren on this vibes. I just got to tell you, oh, everyone, got, everyone got quiet in the chat all of a sudden. Thanks everyone for hanging out. We got a uh, maybe six or eight more items to go through in this haul, and uh, then we'll call this a day. But I wanted to show you exactly what I picked up. Uh, all these Territory Ahead shirts, to me, are going to sell probably in the mid-20s plus shipping. Uh, a couple of them could push 30 something dollars plus shipping. Uh, but this one, that's a fun one right there. In Territory Ahead, you're looking for the unique, the different. That's what people like in this brand, especially Southwestern patterns. I'm listening while drafting performance performance reviews nice how's my performance been on a scale of uh one to five how have i how was my first quarter my first month of 2024 how's my performance been all right another territory ahead shirt uh short sleeve 100 percent cotton men's size xl it's on that y2k ish tag right there i don't know the exact dates that they made that tag that's why i'm saying y2k ish it's an older tag um my guess is that this is a vintage shirt, but it's, uh, I don't know, 100%. I don't need the keyword vintage to sell this shirt, but I could use the keyword Y2K on this shirt because I feel like that's fairly accurate. If it's not Y2K, it's darn close. So there's that one. Kind of a textured stripe, so solid green, but the stripe from it is just like a texture. Wonderful. Five out of five. Thank you. Oh, man. Uh, say, so say you sell for, will you then list for more to allow offers? Um, yeah, I'll typically leave about like a 10% a wiggle room. So this shirt right here, I paid $5 for it at the thrift store. We'll walk this all the way through. Um, it's a size extra large territory head, Y2K vibes on this. And we're moving into the spring summer season. It's coming like March 1st. We really start to see short sleeves start to take off. So I'm going to list this particular shirt probably for $26 plus shipping and I'll accept offers and I'll probably accept offers um, down to like 20 or $22 probably on this one. Um, it is short sleeve, which tends to have a little bit less value than the long sleeves. And it's kind of plain on this one uh, territory head. It's the big, the bold, the proud that get a little bit more. So yeah, I'll price this for like, yeah, $26 and yeah, except about 10, 10%-ish 10 leeway on it. It's a good question. I like it. I love the questions. That's what this is all about. Hopefully you walk away with a little bit of knowledge. Here's the last of the territory ahead, and I think it's my favorite. You've probably already got a little sneak peek of it. I don't know, 99. That other one you got might be my favorite too, just because I've never sold one like that. I've never sold a shirt, period, that had that texture to it but the freaking pattern on this one. So this one, I would list this territory ahead. Um, I'd have to check 
comps for similar ones, but my gut tells me that this is like a 35 ish, maybe even $40 territory ahead shirt because it literally, it personifies what people are looking for in territory ahead. I mean, this is like Southwest loud, proud. It's long sleeve. It's a size extra large. It's a hundred percent linen. I didn't even realize that until just now, hundred percent linen on this piece. <laughs> This piece is crazy. Look at that territory ahead and it's on, this is a more modern tag, not super modern, but um, probably like within the last 10 years, this territory ahead. But look at that piece. Look at the colors on that thing. What? What's your normal intake take of the tag and you're enjoying it? What's your normal intake take of the tag and are you entering in any data? Opal Sparkle, I feel like there's a really good question wrapped up in that um, that comment. I just don't, know what the question is check your venmo for the dark green xl long sleeve shirt thanks bud as always thank you 99 this is the one right confirming we got this one going i love wearing linen i like wooden blends uh, even a little bit more than i like 100 percent linen i like it when it's blended with a little bit of cotton personally um but uh linen is awesome and it's a really good seller yes i use one shot for cross listing i also recommend vendu thank you 99 got you brother i'll ship it right out to you i got your address fire isn't that awesome <laughs> So I'm gonna look up this one right now because this is my favorite find of the day. We still got a few more after this, but I, I just need to know. Uh, I've sold the linen territory ahead before. It's funny because territory head doesn't feel like a linen kind of vibe company, but the, the linen does sell really well. Territory ahead linen shirt. Somebody has the same shirt listed for $20, but it's a size medium. I got an offer just now. Hold on. Let's take the, let's look at the offer. Come on. What's your normal intake take of a tag? Opal, I don't know. What I just read it again. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, I got an offer for $62 on a North Face large goose down puffer parka jacket. It's high vent, waterproof with the hood. I have it listed for 89. I'm not accepting that offer. So I'm gonna counter offer at 79, which is $10 off. Um, this would easily be a $100 jacket. So um, $79, it's a good size, women's size large. So $79 is my counter, so make counter offer. Okay, let's go back to this linen shirt comps. So we're going to look just at extra large. I don't see anybody with the same shirt listed in extra large. There is a lot of linen listed. A lot of people are selling these cheaper than I remember them selling for. So we're going to sort this for pre-owned. So there's 59 linen size XL territory ahead shirts that are used listed. Let's see what they're selling for. Here's one with a herringbone pattern for 29 plus $10 shipping. Here's one for it's blue, solid, 25 plus shipping. Here's another one, it's short sleeve. It's got a little stripey pattern, $30 plus shipping. Here's another one, it's long sleeve, it's striped, it's linen, $35 plus $7 shipping on that one. It's not as pretty as this one, not as loud and proud. Uh, so to me, I'm gonna list this shirt at $39 plus shipping because nobody else has this shirt listed. It is literally, it personifies what people are looking for in territory head. It's big, it's bold, it's Southwesty, and it's 100% linen. Uh, $39 plus shipping, I'll accept offers on that too, but uh, that is an awesome, like if you're looking for territory head and you're like, which one should I look for? I'd be like, pick up this one. Uh, what's your listing process? Do you take pictures and do listing all at once? Yeah, I do listing, uh, I do photos and batches, usually um, anywhere between 12 and 25 items I'll do in a batch of photos. And then I'll, I'll type in uh, each of the items. So this one I'll type in the territory ahead, men's size, extra large, 100% linen, striped, Southwest, bright colors. And I'll list, I'll put that into my spreadsheet. I'll put in the measurements, which I do right here on the table. So I'll measure it like pit to pit right here on the table length right here on the table, sleeve length right here on the table. I enter that into my spreadsheet and I'll do that for 12 to 25 items. And then from there I go into eBay and I list those 12 to 25 items. And then I sit down on the couch. The last thing I do before I go to bed 
is I sit on the couch and I cross list everything using one shop. So it goes over to Poshmark too. That's my process. Uh, Chris, if I do an order for coffee, will it save you on shipping? If any way, I'm not sure yet, perhaps. Yeah. So 929, if you wanted to just do, if you wanted to add in a bag of coffee on top of this, if you just want to Venmo me that and I'll include it in with your, with your package, it'll probably cost like an extra buck for me to ship it. I'm not worried about that. Um, but if you want to just have this all go in one package, uh, with some coffee, then just Venmo me for a bag of coffee, 15 bucks. And we can just do it that way if you want to, or if you do it on TikTok shop, that's another option. Then you pay the, but you've already paid me for the other thing. So yeah, I would just say that that's probably the easiest way to do it. Uh, let's go that way. Hit the like button. Thank you, Patriot Girl. I should have said that. If uh, if you're watching this on recording, by the way, all these live recordings, including me shipping uh, orders out in the morning, including these thrift recaps, all those are available on Facebook and YouTube as a recording. You can watch them anytime. You can watch this morning. I didn't do shipping this morning, but you can watch yesterday's shipping. You can watch my thrift haul from two days ago. It's all up there on YouTube and Facebook. Same name, Chris at Peak. If you're watching one of those recordings, if you can drop down below, just so I know that you're paying attention, could you drop down below southwest drop southwest down below in the chat if you're watching the recording on this so that i know you're watching i love that you're watching live thanks for participating live but i also like hearing from you on the recording so if you have questions and you're watching the recording i'll respond to all those as well too i will never get your wonderful coffee i will never get your wonderful coffee but i never did the whole venmo thing promise <laughs> what i will never i will get your Wonderful coffee, but I never did the whole Venmo. Okay, Nifty, you want to get some coffee. Yeah, you can order it through TikTok shop. Click on my name, go about halfway down the profile. Um, click where it says shop, S-H-O-P. You can buy it right there. Or you can go to chrisatpeak.com. You can buy it right there. You can use your credit card. You don't have to use uh, Venmo. You can just use your credit card. That's the easiest way. I was just doing that with 929 because 929 just ordered the shirt for me. Um, and he already paid me via Venmo. So to make it easy, I was just like, dude, just throw it on Venmo. I already have his address and all that stuff because... He's awesome and he's bought a bunch of coffee and he buys shirts and stuff for me. So I have his address on file, on speed dial. That's why we did it that way. But please don't anyone else just Venmo me stuff. Uh, put in an order so that I can uh, so that I can get your address and all that stuff. Uh, do you have a measuring tape or stick attached to your table? Can you show that? Hair, yep. Yeah, it's a, it's just a piece of painter's tape. And I wrote, you know, I just took my a marker and I took a ruler and I marked off the inches right there. It's that simple. And then I put a clear piece of packing tape right over it. That whole thing probably cost me, I don't know, 15 cents for the whole thing. Uh, I will get better at this stuff. Nifty thrifters, you're doing great. Yeah. Just go to TikTok shop or go to chrisatpeak.com. You'll find the coffee thing. You'll find it. It'll be fine. It'll be good. Hey, Re. Okay, then, Mr. Chris, I just get better at this stuff. How do you take your titles and how long, how, how do you do your titles and how long does it take? Uh, so I'll just title, I can't title that shirt. I'll title the next one because I already sold that one. That's going to 929. Thank you, 929, if I hadn't already said this. So this is a Wrangler. Uh, there's no size tag on this. So I'll measure this. This is literally the whole process for me typing this stuff in. I'll do everything but actually type, but. So I don't know the size on this Wrangler because the size tag is worn off, but that's okay. So it measures 28 pit to pit. So this that's going to be like a 3X. So this is going to be Wrangler men's size 3XL Western Pearl Snap plaid lightweight cotton blend shirt. Red, if I didn't say red. That's the whole item title. I'm taking up all 80 characters. Poshmark and eBay both let you use 80 characters for your item title. So I'm filling it up with all those keywords. I type that in and I put in three measurements. The pit to pit's 28. The length is, remember the length goes from the bottom of the collar is the most common. There's multiple ways to measure. I know somebody's like, I do it differently. And that's fine. You're doing it right too. There's multiple versions of right. But the most common way to measure a shirt is from the bottom of the collar in the center, that seam, all the way to the bottom hem of the shirt. In this case, it's in the middle. In this case, it's 33 inches, so 28 by 33. And then I'm going to do sleeve lengths. There's like five different ways to do sleeve length. Here's how I do sleeve length. This is how you do a dress shirt sleeve length. So it's from that same spot, that bottom of the collar right there, right above where the tag is, right center of the tag, all the way to the hem of the sleeve. And in this case, that's going to be 35 inches, 35 inches. So this is 28 
by 33 by 35, and I put that on my measurements uh, for each item. My daughter was in a car accident. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry to hear that, Tricia. Apparently the cop thought it was hilarious. She was sitting on the side of the road eating shrimp and crab legs while waiting. That's what, I mean, I would probably be listing while I was waiting. I hope she's well. I don't want to make light of this. Uh, sounds like she is well because she was eating shrimp and crab legs. But yeah, I would be probably on calls. I'd be making deals. <laughs> I'd be responding to emails. I'd be listing. I'd be getting stuff done if I was just stuck sitting around. There's no waste of time in my world. Bling and Jules, what's up? How are you? Good to see you last night. Uh, you sold pants. Uh, if you sold pants, I'd make you rich. Uh, what do you mean if I sell pants? Of course they sell pants. I got a whole stack of jeans coming up. <laughs> you have a nice voice. Well, thank you. That's really kind of you. Wow, that's that's awful sweet. How are you adding in the queue in location? Is it, how are you adding in the queue in location? Is it uh, apricot? Opal, I'm really trying with you on these questions. I don't know what that means. Uh, 929, can you translate Opal's question? I don't, uh, is it, I don't know what that means. How are we adding in the queue on location? I'm not really sure. She's fine. How were the crab legs? That's what I really want to know, Tricia. Where'd she get crab legs? I want to know. Opal, you know I love you. I just don't know what you said. Um, I just don't understand it. Do you have a measuring tape? I'm shopping. Nice. <laughs> I'm not mad at you. You know that. All right. So this, I, I pick up Wranglers when they're in big sizes, they have nice patterns. Um, and if they're vintage, but big sizes, nice patterns, Western pearl snaps. I don't pick up button ups unless they're really, really unique and vintage, but usually pearl snaps. Um, they don't always sell fast, but a big size three XL like this, nice pattern. Um, this will sell. It'll probably sell for somewhere between $18 and $23. Size 3 XL is a good size. Size 3 XL is a good size. Me either. <laughs> All right. Next up, another Kula bar. This is a mediocre pickup typically. Uh, probably like, you know, $17 to $19 range. It's a long sleeve polo shirt. These are known for their UPF stuff. So this is a sun protectant shirt. UPF 50 plus. There's the brand right there. Kula bar. This one has a logo on the chest there too. There's that Kula bar logo. You can see it. It's shiny in this case. So this is a moisture wicking like polyester spandex long sleeve polo shirt. Uh, probably set, if it's used 17 to 20 bucks. Brand new with tags. I don't know. Maybe upper 20s. Maybe 30 bucks on this piece. I don't know. Maybe somebody knows more about this brand than I do. There's no MSRP on it. <clears throat> so I paid $5 for that. Everything I've showed you, I paid $5 a piece for. Uh, another classic seller for me. Every single year I've been in business. This is my sixth year reselling clothing online. Uh, every single year, Ralph Lauren is my number one selling brand. I would imagine that this year it will be too, although we're just getting started. Ralph Lauren, size large. This is a Blake. Whenever you see that Blake model, that means it's a relaxed fit. In a lot of cases, it's very relaxed fit. So this is a size large, but it will fit more like a size extra large. I do put Blake in the keywords when I list Blake shirts, because people who know that model Blake will be looking for a large re relaxed fit. They'll know that it's gonna be bigger. I also put in the title either relaxed fit or oversized so that people know. And in the description, if it measures like an XL, I'll even say like measures similar to Ralph Lauren XL. But that's the thing with these Blakes is they definitely are always relaxed fit. Typically a size large Ralph Lauren in a regular fit or a classic fit is gonna be like 24 or 25 pit to pit. Uh, this one I bet you is probably like 26 or 27 that pit to pit measurement which makes it relaxed fit or oversized. She works at a seafood restaurant and that's what she takes home for dinner when she works. That's awesome. I'd have a hard time working at a seafood restaurant just like the, I love seafood, but just the smell of a seafood restaurant day in and day out. Would, um, I don't know if I'd be able to deal with that, like taking that smell home with me. And I worked in a lot of restaurants over the years, including restaurants that served a lot of seafood, but just the seafood, oof, that'd be tough for me. Uh, this is 27 and a half pit to pit. So this measures like a 2X, even though it is tagged size large. So I think that's important if you're going to be selling this model. You know, let your buyer know. Not everybody knows that Blake means it's really relaxed fit. So in the description, I'll definitely include the measurements. And I'll even put a little note that says this measures like a Ralph Warren size 2X. 
so that I don't get a return on this item and so that the buyer gets you know what they were looking for. This shirt right here, I'm gonna list this for $21. I'll accept off $21 plus $5.95 shipping, and I'll accept offers. I paid five dollars for it. That's the whole story. I'm with you. I don't eat seafood though. Yeah, I love seafood, but just the, the smell of the restaurant uh, would get to me after a while. Guess what I bought myself an early May birthday present. Guess what I bought? What? That's awesome. What did you buy for yourself? I don't have any guesses. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, would I be silly to put a Canali dress shirt on whatnot? Um, I don't know if it's silly, but you'll make more money for it if you put it on eBay. Um, it tends to be a slow seller, but it sells, Canali typically sells for me for upper 20s plus shipping on whatnot. Not a lot of people will know what Canali is. And the people who do probably aren't looking for like another dress shirt. That's the trick with whatnot. I don't know though. Maybe you get a, a dress shirt crowd in your whatnots. I'm not sure. To piggyback on the great voice, you are also a great public speaking speaker. No hesitations. I am a big time stutterer and stammerer. Uh, I am more of a, um, um, I am more of a facilitator than I am a speaker. So if you gave me like, you have to give a speech, that's not really my style. Um, in my career, what I did was a lot of like facilitation. So give me a group of people um, and I'll have dialogue back and forth with them or I'll, I'll, I'll usher them through an experience like a, um, um, experiential learning kind of stuff, but not so much like I'm not going to go through like a seven page speech and, and say that that's not really my style. I don't excel at that sort of thing because I do a lot of ums and ahs and I don't have a really good memory. I can't like memorize stuff. Ralph Lauren is bread and butter. That's right. Uh, I'm going to the world's biggest flea market in May. Nice. Where is the world's biggest flea market? I'm not even sure where that is. If you are new to coffee, drive Chris crazy with questions. He's the man. Thank you so much. I love the questions. That's what's fun because that tell that makes me feel like I'm helping if I'm answering a question, right? That's the, uh, that's the, uh, that's what feed me, feeds me if I know that I'm helping in some way. What's up, Chris Hiller? What are you going to do for three hours at the airport, brother? Those tickets only cost me like 300, 300 and change nonstop both ways. And I bought them last night and the flight is Wednesday. So like less than 24 hours in advance or less than uh, less than a week in advance. And I got that kind of price nonstop both ways. I hate not having nonstop on the way back from uh, the West coast during the, the winter time, because the last two times I've come back from ski trips, I've been, I've had like major, major delays, including uh, coming back from Utah. The last time my flight was like, they canceled it and I had to stay like a whole extra day and fly the next day. It was, a, it was a big hassle. <clears throat> Luckily, I work for myself and I could just make it work, but it still was a it still was a little bit of a hassle. I didn't lose my job or nothing, though. But yeah, I hate coming back on connection flights. So I'm so happy that I was able to get uh, nonstop. It's not so big of a deal in the summertime, but in the winter when weather is playing that role. We got a few more pieces left. It's bread and butter. And it's all jeans. We got Levi's right here. Interesting tag. Let me know if you know any more about this tag. Levi's, I feel like this is kind of like a, a retro release tag. A pair of Levi's. And these are skinny 511s. But I feel like that's like a retro release. I don't think this is like true vintage or anything. They're on a red tab on the back. Skinny 511s. Feels like a $25 pair of jeans to me. Brimfield Mass. It's in Brimfield, Mass. I'm not even sure where Brimfield, Mass is. Brimfield, Mass. I'm guessing Western Mass. Brimfield. Brimfield. It doesn't ring a bell. I lived in New Hampshire for 31 years. A lot of my family's in Mass, so I know a lot of Mass, but I can't place Brimfield. There's a lot of other peeps in the chat about this Brimfield event. Yeah, when is that? I don't know. I did a show and sold a few items today, finally. Nice. Uh, what kind of sh did you do whatnot or did you do pot? What did you do? What kind of show did you do? Uh, good friends of mine live in Tewksbury. Yes, I know Tewksbury. What part of New Hampshire did you live? I lived in, I grew up in Londonderry. I lived in Manchester. I lived in Nashua and I lived in Lebanon. May 14th, 15th and 16th. Gotcha. Um, so it's a big flea market. I mean, is that the type of thing it's like worth going to? For me, it would take about it would probably take me about 13 hours to drive there. Is it that kind of good where it's like worth me missing like 
good weekend of garage sale season to drive all the way up there. Is it that kind of good? Awesome. I am in that area as well. Yes. It's that kind of good. Okay. That's a lot of drive. I mean, that's two, that's two full days of driving um, on either end. You're saying it's that kind of good. I paid $5 for those jeans, those Levi's. They should sell for 25. One thing that I look for in Levi's, uh, of course I'm looking for vintage, but I'm also looking black Levi's tend to sell a little bit faster than for me than the blue ones do. Gray ones I would put in that category too. Bigger sizes do better for me too. Um, here's a pair of jeans, Polo Ralph Lauren's. For some reason, these are popping off for me lately. I keep finding them. So Polo Ralph Lauren, nothing fancy here, but these are a bigger size. Size 46B by 30, 46B. So that's a big and tall, 46B by 30. And if you're looking for the size or the model on a lot of these jeans, I'm going to open up the fly. So this one just said, yep, Hampton Straight. So that's the model. I'll usually say it right there. It depends on like the age of the jeans, but that's the most common place you'll find the model. Sometimes it'll be on the inside tag too, but these are Hampton Straits 46B by 30. I'm going to list these for $32 on eBay. They typically sell for between 25 and 30, but these have two plus ones. It's a very big size and they're black. So I'm going to list these for $32 plus shipping on eBay and accept offers. I paid $5 for them. I've literally sold three pairs of Polo Ralph Lauren jeans in the last week. And I don't even know if I have any more in inventory. Maybe one pair. Those have just been moving for me. Typically, I list those in the upper 20s and accept offers. Here's another pair. Big size. This is a size 40. I've picked these up all day for $4.99, especially in big sizes. Modern Levi's, 40 by 30. Size 505, 505 is the most common model that I find. It's not because, I don't pick these up more often because they're the best. It's just, I find more 505. It's probably just sold a lot more than the other models. So I pick up all of the five series models, particularly if they're big sizes. And that's only if I'm paying $5 a piece. If they're $8 a piece, there's really not enough margin on most of these for me. Unless it's like black and a really big size and maybe a boot cut, I might pick it up at eight, but for five bucks is what I pay on these things. So. This is a modern Levi's. The date on this is 2019. It was They were manufactured the 30th month of 2019. So what is that, September, August? Anyway, 3019 is the manufacturer date on that, 505. I'll list these for $25 plus shipping on these, 25 plus shipping. I'll accept offers down to 20, and uh, I paid five bucks for them. That's the whole haul. That's all I got for you today. 929. I'm going to ship this out for you tomorrow. The post office already came today, obviously. So I'll ship this out tomorrow. And what did you say you wanted for coffee, brother? Did you even tell me what you wanted for coffee, 929? Do you want the medium roast ground, medium ground? Is that what I'm shipping to you? That's five hours for me. Brimfield is second. Apparently, according to Google, the world's largest flea market is actually in Canton, Texas. Uh-oh, it's in Canton, Texas, says Tricia. That's the largest. California next week, we're supposed to have an astronomic storm astronomic storm come through right now it's nice 62 it was 60 here today and it, it rained it poured buckets all day it just cleared up about an hour ago what are we doing we doing medium roast brother medium ground ref ven notes venmo notes gotcha medium ground got it i'll check the venmo notes thank you brother that will ship out tomorrow kim i'm training kim on shipping right now so she'll ship she'll ship that out for you tomorrow how about that? Even better. Where do you get the plastic bags from? Uh, everything I use, all my shipping supplies are all linked in my profile. The answer is Amazon, but the exact vendor, the exact sizes that I use, everything right down to the table, that I, this workbench that I work on, my laptop, everything that I use for my business is linked. And those are all trusted vendors, stuff, most of which I've used for years and years. So not all shipping supplies are created equal. Um, sometimes getting the cheapest price just means you got the cheapest product. Um, everything that I have linked is stuff that I have used most cases for years, and it's all stuff that I recommend and give thumbs up to other people. Poor Kim, the shipper. I like shipping. You already know I like shipping. I'm going to be gone. I'm going to be out of town. So I need, you know, I need Kim to, to tag in and do some shipping. So uh, that's why we're doing that for sure. I'm not pawning off the work to her. I just won't be around. So I want to keep the store open while I'm gone. I want y'all to be able to get coffee and stuff while I'm gone too. 
Uh, I was trying to find them at Walmart. You'll probably pay a lot of money for them at Walmart. You'll probably want to purchase directly through a company that's like a shipping supplier. If you buy it from Walmart, you're buying it from a retailer that bought it from probably the company that I bought them from. So you'll get them a lot cheaper if, if you order direct. Oh, thank you, Mountain Quail Sales. That's, that's super, super kind of you. I appreciate that. Have a good evening to you, Hair. Appreciate it. Ice storm coming to Vermont tomorrow morning. No bueno. That's interesting. Typically, whatever we get that rolls through here in Asheville typically just goes right up the Appalachian Mountains up to, to y'all in Vermont the next day. So you're probably getting all this moisture that just rolled here through here today, but it was 60. So it just poured rain. It's obviously got to be colder up there in Vermont. So you're going to get, uh, sounds like you're going to get ice and stuff. Um, but yeah, it was 60 today high and uh, just dumping, dumping, dumping rain. So hopefully all is well up there for you in Vermont tomorrow. Hopefully it's not too bad. Maybe you can get like a snow day. Is that still a thing anymore? They say everything's bigger in Texas. That's right. That's right. Almost everything. Um, happily. Okay. Good to know. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you so much, everyone. All right. I'm going to peace out. I'll see y'all. Uh, what's tomorrow? Right. I'll see you at some point, probably tomorrow. Um, if not, then I'll see you another day after that. Appreciate everybody hanging out for a little bit. Hope you have some great sales if you're out and about over the next 24 hours or so. I hope you find some really cool stuff. Uh, peace and be safe up there in Vermont with all that, uh, that storm and same in California. Be safe with that storm. Peace. Raining in southern Vermont, no ice, no snow. Is, snow is almost gone. All right. I appreciate the weather updates. It's fascinating to hear what's going on everywhere else. Just missed it. Have a good one. See you later on New Forever. We'll see you next time. Appreciate you popping in either way. It's nice to see your name and your little, your little photo down there next to you. Peace.